fabulously exciting news. Amravati is building India's first quantum valley. And no, this isn't just a shiny vision statement. It's actually got a deadline. By 1st of January 2026, South Asia's first IBM 2 quantum computer will go live right here. That's actually 156 qubits powered by IBM, TCS and LNT. In a city that, well, let's be honest, barely existed a decade ago. And at the helm, Chief Minister Chandrababu Naidu back with another moonshot. He's actually turning Amravati into a global quantum hub with a full-stack roadmap that cuts across education, governance, defence and deep tech R&D. Well, this isn't your usual state initiative checklist. This is actually a national strategy that is wearing boots. Yes, this is a moonshot. A full-stack quantum ecosystem right here in Andhra Pradesh. So, let's do this together. Repeat after me. By January 1st, 2026, Amravati will host South Asia's first IBM 2 quantum computer. Showcasing 156 qubits with IBM, TCS, LNT in the trenches. Built from scratch in a city that's still in beta, this isn't just about ambition. It's acceleration. India's 6,000 crore rupee national quantum mission is going full throttle. And Amravati is now the official launch pad. So here's what's actually cooking in Quantum Valley. Quantum plus AI in schools by 2025-2026 to cater to 6 lakh students. 100 real world use cases by August 2026. WhatsApp based citizen services. Geotag data lakes. Ratan Tata innovation hubs and quantum-ready curriculum in partnership with IITs. 100% of services, data and analytics. And all of this is quantum-powered. Sounds fictional, right? Think again. This is soil sensors for farmers, secure communications for defense, precision medicine in hospitals, AI plus quantum fused into everyday governance. Well, they're calling it the Amravati Quantum Declaration. And what about Naidu? He's not new to declarations. This is the man who built high-tech city in the 90s. Back when, tech park meant four glass buildings and well, to be honest, a Nescafe vending machine. Now, he's building Quantum City in the 2020s. And this time, it's not just infrastructure, it's intelligence. And look, who's in the room? Yes, it is Mr. Ajay Kumar Sood, who is the principal scientific advisor. Mr. Abhay Karandikar, who is the DST secretary, IBM, TCS and l &T. Bringing the hardware and the code, IIT Madras, IIT Tirupati, AP Higher Education Council, which is also building the mines. Even ISRO is in. Yes, there is a quantum satellite in the works. The question is, why is all of this happening now? Because the quantum clock is actually ticking. We miss the internet bus. We are catching the AI train. And this time, we have to lead the quantum rocket. Naidu said it best. We cannot afford to miss the bus again. From deregulating phones in the 90s to running governance on WhatsApp today. Yes. Mr. Chandrababu Naidu has always played the first mover game. And now it's Andhra Pradesh's turn to lead the world. Not in BPO, not in code, but in qubits. And you know what? India actually has the goods. World-class math talent, young English-speaking engineers, deep global R&D partnerships. This gives me goosebumps. The policy, the infrastructure, and the political will. The only thing we were missing, simple, urgency. Well, Quantum Valley fixes that now. So what does this mean for you? If you're a student, start learning quantum now. If you're a founder, start building for it, well, yesterday. And if you're an investor, the window's open for now. Because once Amravati launches, 
everyone else will be playing catch up. This isn't just a state showcase, it's a national scale sandbox with the right people at the right moment backed by science and fueled by ambition. Quantum is coming and Amravati is already on it. From qubits to classrooms, from labs to legislation, India is building the future bite by bite or actually should we say qubit by qubit. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe and always remember, think quantum, think Amravati and also importantly, think AI, think AIM. <laughs>